All right, it's uh, late July, 2023. The bite has been slow. They have not been generating much water on West Point Lake down at the dam. Ran yesterday evening for a couple of hours, uh, but the water water's up pretty good. We've had a pretty good bit of rain here the past week. Um, should be good and stained up just like I like it. So we're going to give it a shot. We got to get some bait this evening. We don't have any any bait yet. Um, I've got some gizzard shad that I froze about a month ago. Uh, that stuff's going to be like mush. Whenever you freeze gizzard shad, it's good for a week, maybe two. And then after that, when you put a hook in it, it just it, it's dissolves. Unless you hook a headpiece. Um, and I think I've got maybe four baits, one giant in there. Uh, but I don't want to use it. I really need to catch some, some fresh bait. So hopefully we can get onto that. It's hot. It's 90 degrees, 91 degrees, and it's 530. Um, trying to get out here and get in some uh, just a couple of fish after work before it gets too dark and um, before it gets too late. So I don't know. Water looks good. I just crossed over Yellow Jacket Creek, and, uh, you know, Fish Creek's coming up here. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, there's a lot of water in the in the lake. Man, it looks beautiful. Looks beautiful. I don't really see any shad jumping. But I don't know where they are either. It's been a while since I've had to go get bait. I've uh, been fishing the river a little bit here lately, catching the hybrids on the, on the dam, behind the dam. So anyway, we'll see. Hopefully it turns out well tonight. We'll let you know soon. Let's go. wanted to show you the rigs that I've used. Got a couple um, that I like this time of the year and it presents a different pre presentation. It looks like I got hit on one of these and didn't even realize it. Didn't see it come down. But uh, This is a, a high-low rig. Some might call it a pompano rig, but uh, gives you gives you two different opportunities at two different levels. I would ideally like these two hooks to be a little further apart. They're only about maybe 10 inches apart as it is here. But uh, I got a um, got a pretty heavy sinker down there with a with a much lighter um, mono down here in case this, this gets caught. I can break this off and still bring up the fish. And I've got a good bit of rattles up here and a and a float. So that's one of the you get a lot of small fish with this rig. A lot of channel cats which I did catch a few tonight and missed even more than I caught. So anyway, that's one of them. Probably my favorite rig that I like, especially for dragging. And I'm not dragging tonight. I've just been anchored up, but I'm in a lot of heavy, heavy structure. Um, and I've got a, 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 a dragging weight, dragging weight. I think that's a three ounce or four ounce or something like that. It's on a slide that you can get. So you can take that off if you want to. I can also take this off and switch it out for a different kind of weight but i've got a rattle here this is a basically a a, a spook bizarre spook um float keeps the bait elevated off of the bottom and i've got it going down here to i think that's a seven alt six alt seven alt gamma gatsu circle hook and that was a piece of that carp that didn't do the trick this evening but that's another rig and then one more rig that i really like for suspending this off of the watch the Justin Johnson with the kayak catfisher that dude suspends most everything when he's catfishing look at there so I've got just basically a, a five ounce to keep it straight up and down down to that seven alt circle hook shad head didn't work and it's got a stinger fly up underneath there that stinger fry, stinger fly kind of floats along behind the bait gives it a good presentation uh, didn't get hit on that at all tonight kind of I thought I would honestly in this particular spot, but they didn't 
They didn't like that particular presentation. The other rigs I got are just basically a Carolina rig with a pretty heavy sinker and, and I think it's a six alder or seven alder Gamagatsu hook. So another rig that I, I really like, especially for, um, I don't know, small uh, striper, white bass, hybrid, things like that, is a real, a real light weight. This is a one and a half ounce um, egg sinker. And it goes down to some 20 pound fluorocarbon all the way down. I guess that's probably four feet down to a, a just a bait hook. I think that's a one alt J hook. And I run a live bait on that. And what that does is it gives that bait a lot of freedom to, to swim around down there, move up and down in the water column. Um, when you start seeing that rod bouncing, you need to you need to give it time so that that bait has or that fish has time to really suck down that bait. But that's one of the one of the more productive baits or rigs rather one of the more productive rigs whenever you're fishing for those white bass and hybrids and stripes uh, this guy here is four weeks old now i think i'm gonna i think i'm gonna feed him to the turtles if they'll even eat it S still got some good blood in it um but it didn't do the trick tonight so anyway i'm filming this in reverse order and anyway you'll see some action here in a minute and fun Old channel kitty. He's not exactly the monster we was looking for, but they have absolutely eaten all of my bait. Still got that one carp down there. And I keep having a fish, the graph show up, the fish coming up to look at that carp. But anyway, these guys are fun. This one's missing a whisker. He still got a good one though. Another baby. Channel cats are out in full force tonight. Oh, this is, this is a blue, but it's a dink. Damn. Talk to me, buddy. Let me tell you, they do not like old bait. I've got some four week old gizzard shad on the top and I put a little fresh piece of gizzard shad on the bottom, a redfin shad, and they don't like that old stuff. But dinkity dink, dink, dink. That's what you call a pretty fish. Might be the one we were looking for. Let's bring him down. Stay in line. Stay in down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice little flathead. Been a while since I had a nice flathead. Can't quite tell how good it's hooked. And I don't have my landing net. <clears throat> Let's see how this goes. All right, got a lot of mud on it. You don't have circle hooks that get swallowed very often, but that'll do. All right. And look at the mud. Look at the mud. It's 
sugar just been chilling out on the bottom for a while. Man, that looks like a good eater fish. He gone. I got my gloves out. See if I can find one. All right. Not too bad. These blues will bite you even if they're little. night and it wasn't like this the other day the other day these things were they weren't they wouldn't bite nothing <clears throat> we we might have made it into the double digits finally who knows Jeez, fish are biting but they're small not a bad fish got a cool dot on his head See that? Kind of a neat little freckle. Maybe his, maybe his daddy was mixed up with a channel cat somewhere along the way. All right. Good times. I want it to double this size, maybe triple. All right. crossing back over Beach Creek now. Uh, the water wasn't quite as stained up as I thought it was going to be. Looked pretty good. The, uh, the bite was pretty good tonight. Uh, I wish that I would have spent a little bit more time getting some better bait. Ran out of the bait that I did catch pretty quick and used the old, old bait that had been in the freezer for about a month. Uh, still managed to catch a couple. I uh, think we we wound up with a flathead, a channel cat, a couple of blues. Um, got some got some bite marks out there, so it's always always fun when you get bit. Got the boat some slime in it, and uh, it was a good good evening. So probably left a little bit too soon, but I'll be honest with you, I didn't get to eat dinner before I left, so I'm hungry, and uh, the wife's making tacos, so I'm all in on a taco. Never made a taco I didn't like. So anyway. Good time, good fun. Catch you next time.